the best way to get around Belfast is by cab, and your ride can come with an education. For a reasonable hourly fee, many cabbies give visitors impromptu tours. My guide, Norman, is sharing some personal insights. Norman, can you explain to me just in general about sectarian neighborhoods? Sectarian neighborhoods are within the working class areas, and the working class areas only, where they keep divided because of, well, the hatred for each other, and of course what they've done to each other through terrorism. Falls Road is a, a well-known Republican stronghold uh, in the west part of Belfast. So this is the Catholic neighborhood then, huh? Well, it's more renowned for being Republican rather than just Catholic. Okay. So it, why is it so famous? Because of the amount of trouble that happened here between the IRA and the, the British soldiers and the police force and so on. It feels safe today. Well, things have changed over the last five years. But there's these symbols of the sectarianism that still are strong, aren't they? Very strong and will remain to be strong uh, because of the, the backgrounds within the conflict. Murals are an art form and they come with a strong political message. Ireland will rise like a phoenix. Ireland should be free and united, and so on. Police stations stand like fortresses. And everywhere in this Catholic neighborhood, the Republican cause is honored. An important stop along Falls Road is the Milltown Cemetery, where Gaelic crosses allow Catholic Republicans to make a statement in death, and where IRA fighters are buried with the honor of fallen soldiers. So tell me about this place. It's, uh, it's a Catholic cemetery, uh, with also some Republican attachment to it, a lot of Republican uh, people buried, as, as well as Catholics, of course, and this is a typical uh, cross with Irish design on, of course, which is extremely important, uh, showing a typical Irish background. The most visited gravesite here, set apart by little green railings, commemorates IRA heroes. Among many others, it remembers Bobby Sands and nine other hunger strikers. They starved themselves to death in a nearby prison in 1981. They wanted to be treated as political prisoners rather than criminal terrorists. It hasn't always been Catholics against Protestants. It's been people of more the extremists within the religions where the moderate, both Catholic and Protestants, have not supported the actions of either loyalism or republicanism. Loyalists are the extremists of Protestants. Uh, Republicans are the extremists of Catholics. So the moderate parties are known as Unionists, which are moderate Protestants, and Nationalists, which are moderate Catholics. So there's a lot of moderates, actually, that aren't at each other's throats. <laughs> the, the majority of people in Northern Ireland are the moderates. A bleak wall separates the Catholic Republicans of the Falls Road area from the Protestant Loyalists in the Shankill Road area. It's called the Peace Line because without it, there'd be no peace. But progress is being made. In a promising change after 30 years of being closed, this gate is now open, connecting the two neighborhoods.